Hi, today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020, and it is time for a daily announcement, encouragement, and prayer from the pastoral staff. Our meditation on God's Word comes from Psalm 25, and we're going to read verse 4 and 5. This is the word of the Lord. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. This prayer of David is a prayer for guidance. David he knew that he needed the guidance of the Lord in his life. We as well, we should be always asking the Lord to guide us, to be our guide. As a matter of fact, we need the Lord to guide us every day, every moment of our lives. And we need that because we don't know what is best for us. And we also, we don't know our future and therefore we cannot guide ourselves. We need a guide in our lives. And this guide is the Lord, our God. David, he understood that. And that's what we see here in verse 4. He asks the Lord to show him and to teach him his ways. In this petition, David, he's, he's directing himself to the Lord with urgency. And he's being direct to the Lord. And what David, he desires in this petition is to learn the way and the path of God. He wants his life to be according to the will of the Lord. We also see here David asking the Lord to lead him. And this word lead, it's built out of a Hebrew word that means to walk. And the idea that we see here, that we find in this text, is the idea of walking the truth, meaning living by the truth that comes from God. But where where we find this truth? This truth we find in the word of the Lord, in the word of God. He, the word of the God is the path, is the way for us to be guided by Him. The Lord says in Deuteronomy 29, Keep the words of this covenant and do them that you may prosper in all that you do. And that is that is how the Lord guides His people through His Word. As we keep the words of the Lord, we are guided by Him. In John 14, 6, we, we find Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the center of our lives. If we want to find guidance to our lives, first of all, Jesus, he needs to be the center of our lives. And we find all the teachings of Jesus, the Word of God. As we look to the Word of God, we see the path and the way. We see God revealing His Son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ to us through His Word. Another thing that we find in this text is the reason for David's prayer, asking God for guidance. And the first reason that this text gives to us is that God is our salvation. God is the one who loved us to the point of death. Who better than him who gave his own life for our life? To guide us. Our God and Savior, Jesus Christ, He is the one who guides us. He is the one who sent His Holy Spirit to be our guide as well. And every day, He is the one who leads us through the path of life. The second reason that this text shows us 
for praying for guidance is related with faith. We should ask God for guidance not only because He is the God of our salvation, but because He is, he is our only hope. That's what David he writes here at the end of verse 5. On you I wait all the day. David is saying other words here that in the Lord he finds his hope. He waits all the day on the Lord because the Lord is his hope. is the hope for his life. The Lord is his guide. He's his savior. And he's his hope. There is no other hope in life besides the hope that the same Lord that saved us, he'll guide us through his life. The Lord who saved us, who guide us through all this life, is also going to guide us through all, all eternity. And that's the hope that we have. We hope that the same Lord who saved us is the same Lord who will guide us in every moment of our lives he indeed certain here and there after this life in eternity please uh, pray with me now lord our god we love you and we are thankful for you we're thankful that we have a guide in our lives we're thankful lord that through your son jesus christ you saved us and you gave us eternal life and you gave us your Holy Spirit as well to guide us in all truth, in all the truth that comes from the words of Jesus Christ revealed to us in your word. Thank you, Lord, that you are our hope and that in you we can trust. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.